In an astonishing turn of events that has sent ripples through the scientific community, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a series of discoveries so monumental, they are rewriting everything we thought we understood about the early universe. Just weeks after capturing images of the most primitive galaxy ever observed, this cutting-edge observatory has now revealed something even more extraordinary, a colossal black hole being ejected from its host galaxy at a mind-blowing speed of nearly 4 million miles per hour. Yes, you heard that right. A black hole, traditionally considered the ultimate gravitational sinkhole, is not only moving, it's streaking through the cosmos and leaving behind a cosmic trail that defies our current understanding of astrophysics. And even more remarkably, it appears to be giving birth to new stars in its wake. This discovery isn't just exciting, it's transformative. It challenges long-held theories about how black holes behave and what role they play in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Conventionally, black holes are viewed as insatiable entities that devour anything that crosses their path, including light. But this newly observed object behaves in a way that's almost paradoxical. Instead of consuming, it seems to be creating, sparking the birth of stars along a glowing, elongated trail extending over 200,000 light years behind it. Imagine that. A black hole not as a destroyer, but as a cosmic gardener, planting new stars in its path as it rockets through space. A research team led by Professor Peter B. recently published these groundbreaking findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and NASA's own space observatory has confirmed the data. Their conclusion? As this black hole interacts with vast clouds of gas, it compresses and cools that gas, triggering a chain reaction of stellar birth. What we are witnessing is more than just a cosmic curiosity, it may be a new mechanism for how stars and galaxies form under extreme conditions. But believe it or not, this isn't the only game-changing revelation from the James Webb Space Telescope in recent weeks. Webb has also turned its infrared eye toward a galactic collision of epic proportions, ARP-220. This is no ordinary galactic merger, it is one of the most luminous galaxies in the known universe, radiating energy equivalent to one trillion suns. That's more than 100 times the luminosity of our entire Milky Way galaxy, which itself holds roughly 100 billion stars. Located approximately 250 million light-years away in the constellation Serpens, ARP-220 is a dazzling example of what happens when two spiral galaxies collide. This cosmic impact occurred roughly 700 million years ago, triggering an explosion of star formation within a region only 5,000 light-years wide, but containing as much gas as the entire Milky Way. To put that into perspective, that's like packing the weight of our entire galaxy's gas into a space only 5% of its width. It's a star factory on steroids. Previous observations using radio telescopes had already identified more than 100 supernova remnants in this chaotic zone. But thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope's extraordinary resolution, scientists can now see the galactic centers, just 1,200 light years apart each surrounded by rotating star-forming rings emitting brilliant infrared radiation. Even more mesmerizing, Webb's deep imaging has captured faint tidal streams stretching out from the galaxy's core, evidence of the gravitational tug of war that's taking place. These reddish-orange filaments are trails of ionized gas and stars, flung into space as a result of the galactic dance. And yet, these aren't even the most mind-bending discoveries the telescope has delivered. In one of its most shocking findings to date, the James Webb Space Telescope has identified ancient galaxies located near the edge of the observable universe, galaxies so old that the light they emit has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years to reach Earth. At first, many in the scientific community were skeptical. Could these really be primordial galaxies? Or were they simply nearer galaxies that appeared older due to some observational trick? But when the data was distributed and scrutinized by astronomers worldwide, the answer became clear. These galaxies were authentic, and they are among the earliest structures ever discovered in the cosmos. Webb's unprecedented ability to detect extreme redshifts, a stretching of light due to the expansion of space, has allowed it to see further back in time than any telescope before it. 
Spectroscopic readings confirmed that several of these galaxies existed just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, before heavier elements like carbon or oxygen had even formed. To appreciate how profound this is, remember that the universe is thought to be about 13.8 billion years old. Discovering mature, massive galaxies so soon after the Big Bang throws a wrench into current theories of galactic formation. One would expect galaxies this early to be small, irregular, and sparsely populated. But some of these newly observed structures are up to 10 times more massive than the Milky Way. This begs the question, how could such vast galaxies form so quickly? According to theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku, these findings compel us to reevaluate everything we thought we knew about the universe's origins. He notes that forming a galaxy like the Milky Way should take billions of years, not just a few hundred million. The idea that colossal galaxies could exist so early in the universe's timeline suggests that our models of the Big Bang and cosmic inflation may be incomplete, or even incorrect. Indeed, this discovery has reignited a fierce debate within the scientific community. For decades, the Big Bang theory has served as the foundational framework for cosmology. But it contains certain inconsistencies, such as violations of thermodynamic principles and the inability to definitively explain what sparked the Big Bang in the first place. And now, Webb's data is piling on more challenges. For example, NASA recently reported the discovery of a galaxy cluster that formed just 650 million years after the Big Bang. This infant cluster, composed of seven galaxies, resides in a region undergoing rapid galactic evolution. Scientists believe this protocluster will eventually evolve into a structure resembling the Coma Cluster, one of the largest known galaxy clusters in the local universe. NASA researchers used a poetic metaphor to describe it. The galaxies are like droplets merging into streams, destined to combine into a cosmic river. This discovery is especially notable because it proves these galaxies are gravitationally bound, forming a unified system much earlier than expected. Observing such large-scale structure in the early universe forces us to rethink how quickly matter could have clumped together under the influence of gravity. As extraordinary as these findings are, they represent only the tip of the iceberg. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with instruments so sensitive that they can capture infrared light from galaxies billions of light years away. This allows astronomers to peer into the distant past, to see the universe not as it is but as it was, mere moments after its birth. Its fine guidance sensor, FGS, and near-infrared camera, NIR cam, have already produced enough data to keep scientists busy for years. In fact, four of the six earliest galaxies observed show signs of extreme redshifts, meaning they are viewed as they appeared just a few hundred million years post-Big Bang, when the first stars were forming in the darkness of cosmic dawn. Even more intriguing, some of these galaxies show no evidence of heavy elements, supporting the theory that they formed from pristine hydrogen and helium. That makes them invaluable for studying the first generations of stars, which are thought to be more massive and shorter-lived than stars we see today. These revelations also raise critical questions about the role of black holes in galactic evolution. Could they, as the rogue black hole implies, be catalysts for star formation rather than destroyers? What mechanisms allow them to trigger such large-scale stellar nurseries? Could unknown forces or exotic physics be involved? Webb's observations are also shedding light on another great cosmic mystery, dark matter and dark energy. These two elusive forces make up 95% of the universe's total content, yet we understand almost nothing about them. By studying how galaxies move and interact at vast distances, Webb may help pinpoint the influence of these mysterious components on cosmic evolution. And let's not forget the human dimension of these discoveries. The images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope have not only transformed the field of astrophysics, they've also captured the imagination of millions. From professional scientists to amateur stargazers, people all over the world are marveling at Webb's vivid snapshots of the cosmos. The telescope has become a symbol of humanity's curiosity, perseverance, and capacity for wonder. It reminds us that no matter how advanced our technology becomes, the universe still holds secrets we are only beginning to uncover. Looking ahead, 
The James Webb Space Telescope promises even more. Its mission is still in the early stages, and yet it has already challenged the foundations of modern cosmology. As it continues to scan deeper into the universe, we can expect more surprises, more ancient galaxies, more rogue black holes, and perhaps answers to the biggest question of all. How did it all begin? Or, are we asking the wrong question? Maybe the universe didn't begin the way we imagined. Maybe what we're witnessing now is not a singular beginning, but part of a larger cosmic cycle, a universe reborn again and again in ways we have yet to understand. Whatever the case, one thing is certain, the James Webb Space Telescope has ushered in a new era in space exploration. It is no longer just a tool, it is a portal to our cosmic origins. So, what do you think about these discoveries? Could the Big Bang Theory be flawed? Are we on the brink of rewriting the story of the universe? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with more mind-blowing content right here on Waves Discovery. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through space and time. With every new revelation, the James Webb Space Telescope brings us closer to answering the most profound questions of existence, and reminds us that in the vastness of the cosmos, there is always more to discover.